We are now going to speak about problem G, decoration. In this problem, you are given an integer n. Let's first start by defining f of s to be s plus its, term of, its number of divisors modulo n. The problem we are considering is to find a value s between 0 and n minus 1, such that first, all the k-first iterating images of s by f are all distinct, and second, their sum is minimal. If no such value s exists, then your program should detect that situation and input minus one. So, um, so there are several solutions to this problem. I'm going to present one of them. So in this solution, the first step is to pre-compute f of s for all integer n between 0 and n minus 1. This can be used using a classical algorithm, a divisor stiff, in big O of n uh, log n. The next step is to compute the sum of the k-first iterating images of each integer s between uh, 0 and n minus 1. To do this, first you use fast exponentiation to pre-compute all the values of f to the 2 to the i of s for all s between 0 and n minus 1, and for all i, such as 2 to the i is, is uh, smaller than k. Using a similar div divide and conquer algorithm, you compute all the sums of the 2 to the i first iterated images of s for all s between 0 and n minus 1. Using this information, you can deduce the sum of uh, all k first iterated images of f for all initial s between 0 and minus 1. This algorithm can be implemented in big O of n log k. The last step of the solution is to handle the, uh, the, the, the heterogeneity condition of the problem. The question is to determine which integer s are such as s, f of s, and all the k first iterated images of s are distinct. To do this, we consider the directed graph of edges s f of s. We use a depth of search algorithm to compute their cycle. It is easy to see that this graph, that in this graph, each node is connected to a cycle. We can use a depth, another depth of search algorithm to compute the distance of each of this uh, node to its corresponding cycle. Using this information, it is easy to find which node s leads to k different uh, iterated images. This can be computed in a big of n complexity. Finally, if you put all the pieces together, you get a solution to the, to the problem in big of n log n. 